In this lesson, I show you how to create and edit pages for your WordPress website. Pages are similar to posts. However, they're usually reserved for more bigger things, like for instance, an about page. On the default WordPress install, you will have an about page already created for you. And it should be located on your menu bar right here. So if you click the about page, you can kind of see what it's all about. It's pretty basic. It just, again, is content, but it's static content. Your posts won't be appearing on this page. So let's go into the back end now and take a look at how we can edit pages and create pages. So if you go and log into your back end to your dashboard, you should see a pages button on your sidebar right here. So let's click that. And now you'll have a list of your current pages that are available. As I said, you have the about page, which um, is default to the WordPress um, install. But you can go ahead and delete that if you want, or you can edit it, whatever you want to do, just like you could your posts. But let's just go ahead and edit here and see what we have available to us. So when you go to a page, it's pretty standard like a post. And I explained a lot of this in my post tutorial. But you have all your editing options up here to create your page for your text. You can insert images, you can put videos in there, whatever you want to do. On the side here you have attributes that you can do for instance you can have sub pages just like you can have subcategories so let's say for instance as we'll use the example uh, written here you have an about page but let's say you have a life story page as well as a my dog page that you want to go under that about page you can easily do that by simply selecting it to be the parent page for instance the about page would be the parent page to those pages when you come down here to your template, you can actually sometimes, depending on the template you're using, change the look of each page. So it will look different than your home page or your other pages and so on. So you can mess with that depending on the templates that you have. You also can change the order of how your pages are listed. Generally, the pages are listed alphabetically. However, let's say you want the contact page above your about page. You would just simply put one for your contact page and then you would put two for your about page and then the contact would appear above the about in your menu on your site just like this so and that is how you do that you also again down here just like your posts you can allow comments or disallow them or for the same with the trackbacks and ping pingbacks and that is how that works again it's pretty self-explanatory and straightforward especially if you're used to um, use, um, editing posts or making posts. And if you need more information on any of this, you can refer back to that post tutorial and that will help you a bit more with some of these options here and all that too. Anyway, you can also preview your changes or you can update or publish your page and you're good to go. And the same thing, again, if you want to add a new page, you just click the add new button right here and then you just go through this process that I just showed you, except now you'll title it, let's say you'll title it, contact me for your page. And then you can put in your information and do whatever you really need to do here. And again, template and all that. And we can, again, we could put this parent as the about if we really wanted to, but we'll just keep it as the main page. And we'll publish it. And I know I don't have any content in there right now, but just to show you this, when we go back to our website and we hit refresh, we have the contact me page now on the list and there you go it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty easy to do actually and pages are really important if you have content that's important that you really just want to stay static and you want to get out there anyway I have more tutorials coming up so stay tuned